All right, dudes, let's make a video. I'm going to test a uh, amp head that belongs to uh, Surf Zombies guitar player Ian Williams. We have not plugged this in yet, but it has been serviced. We think it's like a Montgomery Ward's head from the 60s. What do we got in the back? Oh, looks like a speaker, main speaker, extension speaker, transformer. Looks like some tubes. What are these? 55881s. Okay, Sovtex. This is the reverb driver tube. That's a 6V6. So there's a spring reverb in there. Looks pretty, uh, you know, old and crusty, but that's what Ian really loves. So I'm going to set it here and get a speaker cable. I will plug it in, warm it up, and test it out. So, main speaker out. Come on over here to my Fender basement cab, and then we'll get the power cable going. He, Ian asked me to test this for him, so I didn't do that until now. And I'm going to bring it to our gig tonight. Awkward, but this is real. So there's some, some talk about some lights on this thing. I have no idea. So here's on and standby. Okay, cool. So it's on standby. We got a light. Now let's get a guitar. It should be fairly smooth sailing from here on out. Tubes are warming up. We've got instrument inputs. One, two, three, four. Looks like channel one, volume and tone. Channel two, volume and tone. Reverb depth. Depth. Not depth. Tremolo speed. Tremolo intensity. We shall see. All right. Always channel one, right? Go in there, and of course we're going to play E chord, turn it up, oh, got to do a standby thing, here's standby, operate, whoa, I hear noise, and a chord, ooh, juicy, let's crank up the reverb, baby, oh no, anything for the reverb but the tremolo well let's turn all that down wait <laughs> seems like the reverb is noisy Okay, it's more quiet when we turn the reverb and tremolo off. Ah, tone is all the way down. Let's crank the tone to 10. Woo! That's the kind of sound Ian really likes, is that kind of... Kind of... That's it. That's totally his tone, man. That's... So that's, I think if we, well, let's just crank it up a little bit. That would be almost loud enough on stage. We try not to be crazy loud on stage, but this year we were actually thinking of cranking up a little louder just to blast. And we're, we play a lot of outdoor events and, you know, a lot of times we don't want to mic all the amps. We just want to set them up and crank them up. So let's jump on over to channel two, see if that gives us a better, uh, let's turn that standby on just to, for safety. And here comes 
operation. Whoa. Try the tremolo. Ah, okay, so channel two is where the tremolo happens. Hey. Maybe the reverb will work. Oh yeah! Ooh. song so that that's what's cool about trying a different amp or something you might a song might just come out of it That's only turned up to, you know, about 10 o'clock, so we can really, well. Of course, I'm a little shy about really digging in. Seems like there's some pops, you know, like a lot of little crackle pops. 
But, you know, on an old head like this, that might be what you get. That might, just might be the circuit, the design. Let's turn everything down and we'll panel light off. Here's our standby on and power off. It's pretty cool. It's a little noisy. You know, a fender is going to be real clean and a little bit of hum and hiss, but this has a little more than a fender for sure. So, uh, you know, it's a cool project. We just kind of went through, had, a, had our amp guy go through it and clean it up the best he could. And he'll probably say that's kind of just what it does. It's just the way it's designed and laid out. There's going to be some noise. I, I'm sure he'll say that. Which I believe him, uh, but anyway, we will try that. Well, we will try it out. You might see this on stage this summer. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, all of Ian's amps kind of look like this. Only they're combos. You know, just these old-looking antique things that are wickedly cool. But yeah, he just wants some more power. I'm trying to get us to use all three use basements. That's my plan. So. We'll see, you know, we got lots of options and so we enjoy uh, messing with old amps, getting them running well and then uh, playing them. That's what we do. So there you go, that's a Montgomery Wards guitar amp head with those 5881s tube output tubes. I'm not really up to date on my tube types. I just play them, man. <laughs> I break them. <laughs> All right, there you go. That's the video, and uh, thanks a lot for checking out my page, channel, or whatever the hell this is. Rock!